subscribe to simplify your space and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any future notifications and follow us on social media to get all the latest updates hello friends welcome back to your channel simplify your space in this video i will be showing few habits to keep your kitchen sparkling clean and organized some of you must be following these routines these tips are not any hidden secrets but daily cleaning habits which i follow with discipline these habits will save your time and your kitchen will always be clean, organized and pest free. So let's get started. While chopping or peeling veggies, keep a bin or plate aside and start putting the waste directly on that. It will keep your countertop clean and will save your time also. You can also get this kind of over the door garbage bag holder and start collecting the waste directly in it. Wash the chopping board and knives immediately after use. Otherwise, the food residues will get dry in some time and it will be hard to wash them later. Also, it attracts bacteria to grow. Wash the blender immediately after usage. It takes only 30 to 50 seconds extra now, which saves significant time later. Immediate wash will prevent food residues to get accumulated on the blade. Once the remaining residues dries up, it is difficult to clean and it also leaves stains on the blade. After the use, pour some water with few drops of dish soap and blend it. The blender will be cleaned easily without any efforts. Now just wash it with normal tap water and leave it to dry. While making rotis, spread a clean kitchen towel under the chakla. It helps in two ways. First, chakla will not move from its place while rolling chapatis. Second, all the dry flour will be collected on the kitchen towel which helps in cleaning later. Always keep back the food containers and dishes to their designated cabinets right away after usage. It prevents unnecessary clutter on the countertop. Just give a wipe to spice container, oil container and fridge handle after you are done with your cooking. Many times we touch them while cooking and they get stained with food. Quick wipe will keep your kitchen stain free and reduces the deep cleaning efforts later. If you really do not want to see any unwanted pests like cockroaches and rat in your house, then always wash your utensils before going to bed in the night. If you have a house help who comes and do the dishes in the morning, then at least soak the dishes in the water. Remove all the leftover food from the dishes before putting them into the sink. One of the nastiest item often seen is the scrubber to wash utensils. After washing utensils, forgetting to rinse the soap container and scrubber will attract bacteria and foul smell in the kitchen. Unclean scrubber has lots of food residues. Throw the dirty soap solution, then rinse the container and scrubber and leave them to air dry. You can disinfect scrubber in plain hot water. Use these kind of microfiber cloths and sponge pads in the kitchen. They are efficient in cleaning and dry fast. Please rinse them properly after each use and leave them to dry and give them a detergent and hot water wash once in a week. If kept dirty, they may attract bacteria and other unwanted pests which you surely do not want to see in your kitchen. After cleaning the dishes, never place wet dishes inside the cabinet. Water can ruin your wooden cabinets and invites unwanted pests. Waiting for them to air dry and rearrangement in cabinets needs strict discipline. Always place back the dishes at their designated place. Clean your cooktop, countertop and tiles in the night after finishing your dinner. 
cover any leftover food and sweep the kitchen floor. It not only helps keeping the pest away from the kitchen, but you will also feel good seeing the clean kitchen in the morning. It helps increasing your efficiency and speed up the morning cooking routine. Place a floor mat near to the sink area. It helps soaking the dripped water while cleaning the dishes. Also, it is a quick fix if any water spills on the floor accidentally. Always keep a kitchen towel near to the working station. Dry your hands properly before touching grains, flowers and veggies like onion and potatoes. Even little moisture can spoil your dry uncooked grains and veggies. Use garbage bag in the garbage bin. It will keep your bin clean all the time and it is easy to discard the garbage. One tip here, use a command hook at the back of the bin which helps you tie the bag so that it does not slip off while throwing garbage in it. One of the dirtiest things you can see in some kitchens is the tea strainer. Always throw these tea leaves in the waste bin after straining your tea and wash the strainer immediately. Otherwise, tea residues gets dry later and blocks the small holes which causes the blackness in strainer and cross contamination. Also fill up the water in the tea pan before dumping it in the sink. It will be easier to clean later. Never use Teflon utensils with plastic or steel scrubber while cleaning. It can peel off the skin and can be harmful if ingested along with food items. Clean these utensils with sponge pad and use only wooden spoons while cooking in these dishes. Stop using the non-stick vessels for cooking or storing food which looks like this. They pose serious health hazards. These cooking utensils make our life easy but only if kept in proper shape and condition. Do not reuse mineral water bottles to store water. These are made of low quality plastic and are meant for one time usage only. Instead, use jugs, glass bottles or BPA free good quality plastic bottles. Place plastic mats or dining table mats in the cabinets and fridge. It will protect fridge and cabinets from any accidental spillage and stains. And it is easier to remove mats and clean them rather than cleaning the whole fridge and cabinets again and again. We have dedicated videos on fridge organization and fridge cleaning routine. Please find the link in the description box. One of the most ignored kitchen appliance is microwave. Any leftover stains and spillages can cause cross contamination. Just give a wipe immediately if you see any stains in the microwave. It will not take much of your time. Also do a deep cleaning once or twice in a month. Do not leave snack packets open. Clip them after opening or shift them in the container to avoid wastage and accidental spillage. Whenever you get your monthly grocery, just organize it right away. Transfer the grains in the designated containers and keep rest of the stocks in the pantry cabinet. Else the bags will keep your kitchen space cluttered. Whenever we go out for grocery shopping, we bring back home new shopping bags as most of us always forget to carry our old shopping bags along which takes so much of space in our kitchen. Here is the best way to keep your carry bags neatly. First, clear the crease from all over the bag. Now fold it from both sides and bring them in the center. Now start folding into a triangle from the bottom till top. When you reach the top, insert the handle into this pocket. See how neat it looks now? And the best part is it does not take much space to store when they are folded neatly. Now whenever you go out, just carry 3-4 bags in your purse and that's it, you're good to go. Thank you for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe for many more organizing videos. 
I'll see you next week. Happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.